Yeah, I think it's hard coming to South Africa. I think a lot of subcontinent sides struggle in South Africa with uh, the, the extra bounce and, and the pace. Uh, although the wickets that we've played on haven't been the traditional Wanderers or Centurion or Supersport Park. Um, you know, I think you, you can only play as well as opposition allow you to play. And I, I thought our bowlers have really um, come hard at the Bangladeshis. And, you know, there's been some, some good performances uh, in terms of uh, Mishfika. He's batted really, really well. He got a hundred, uh, got a couple of fifties. So there's definitely signs, and all it's, all, it's not all doom and gloom for the Bangladesh side. Um, I think it's just um, you know when you run into a guy like Ab de Villiers in his in his prime uh, in poll last week, uh, you know you think you could be chasing about 280, 290, and all of a sudden you're chasing 350, which puts the batters under that more pre that much more pressure to score. And uh, I think when we've got a few of the world's number one uh, bowlers as well, like Iman Tahir, Khisa Rabada, they really thrive on the on on, on the side, um, sort of laying the foundation and defending that target. No, I think exactly how we've been playing uh, South Africa. It's not doesn't matter who we're playing we've got a sort of blueprint that works for us all the guys know their roles in the side um, we've obviously got a few uh, uh, opportunities uh, for a few guys Hashim Amna is obviously resting out he's spending some time with the family so there will be a, a new change for Quinton de Kock up front um, so it's just another opportunity for someone to stake their claim and just show the depth that we've got in South Africa um, and then just try and uh, you know win 3-0 I think uh, you can't underestimate any op any sort of any team Team. And Bangladesh have showed over the over the last year and a half that they have played some good cricket at times. Uh, you know, beat obviously Australia in a, in a Test game. Um, you know, beaten South Africa in a couple of one-day competitions. Um, so it's a, it's another one-day international for us. And a lot of the guys, it's an honour playing for South Africa and uh, representing your country. So um, there's no dead rubber, and we won't be taking the the game lightly. No, I don't think they poor. I think uh, as again, you've got uh, some younger guys in the test environment uh, learning. You know, we saw a lot of guys. Uh, they bowled some good bumpers there in the test side. Uh, had a few of our guys sort of ducking and diving, so they can definitely mix it. I think it's about pressure. It's about having three or four seamers that can hold the job and do a job. I think you know when you look at the test side, it's all about holding and pressure. And I think there were too many easier scoring options when, when one bowler had bowled really well, the, his partner wasn't bowling well in terms of uh, releasing that pressure. So I think it's just getting used to these conditions, uh, having more tours here, getting the whole squad um, and, your, and your bigger squad involved. I think you know sometimes uh, when you've got guys that are um, experienced, uh, they sort of towards the end of their career and uh, you keep need to bring refresh those younger guys and, and take them out of their comfort zone and their comfort zone is the subcontinent size where it's spin it's low it's reverse swing you need to bring them here more tours more under 19 tours more academy tours and more sort of bangladesh a teams and i think that's that's going to be the solution to bridge that gap yeah i think yeah, you always look at your senior players to to uh to lead your side um you know i, I think it didn't help that in the test side you had two of your guys that were injured um so, you know, Mushfika played, I thought he had a beautiful innings there in, in Kimberley. I thought he played really, really well. And, you know, that's what you need. You need one of your big players to stand up. Uh, he had a little ankle injury as well and got a really, really good runner ball 100. So uh, you just need more of that. You need, I think when you're playing a, a side like South Africa in their home conditions, you can't have two or three guys stepping up. You need the whole squad stepping up. You know, you need your whole bowling lineup going really well, your whole batting lineup. Uh, not just one guy averaging 50 and the rest averaging 20, 30. You need a lot of 50s, you know, two, three of your top players to average 50 and then a couple of 30s, 40s and that's how you compete.